Hey guys, welcome to another Hostinger Academy tutorial. My name is Kastudis and today we'll be going over creating a bash file for a cron job that's using special characters. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Setting up cron jobs is a great way of automating certain task execution on your website. When running custom code, you're bound to run into special characters. A good example of this would be this line of code here, which hides the cron jobs output. Now, due to the nature of this technology, to be able to run these types of scripts, you would need to set up a special bash file. No worries, the process is not at all complicated, and with my help, we'll breeze through it in no time. So, let's get to it. Setting up the bash file is a super simple process. We begin by opening up the file manager. Next step is deciding where your bash file will be located. To keep things simple, I will use the root directory of my main domain, which is public underscore HTML. Continuing with the theme of keeping everything simple, my bash file will be named script.sh. Bash files use the .sh file extension, so make sure you include that. Now here's how the contents of the bash file itself should look like. This is the first part that indicates to the system that a cron job file is being opened. This part loads the PHP libraries. My bash file will be executing a PHP script. And this is the actual cron job command that I wish to be running. An important detail to note is that the path to the script does start on the server's root directory. This means that adding forward slash home followed by another forward slash and your user code is essential to have your script be run. And that's all it takes to set up the bash file. Now, our next step is setting up the file's execution. Lucky for us, it's super simple to do in our amazing H panel. So, let's get to it. In your hosting plan's management page, you could use the search feature to locate your cron jobs tab. Next, let's switch our cron job type to be custom, as that's exactly what we will be using. Since our cron job is set up on a .sh file, the beginning of our command to run will look like this. What follows is the path to our bash file that we have set up previously. In my case, that would be the domain's public underscore HTML file. And the last step is simply setting up the interval at which you would like to have your cron job run. If your cron job executes a resource intensive task, setting up a longer time frame between executions is a good idea to save your plan system resources. And there you have it, your cron job is set up. You can use the super handy button here to check for your cron job's outputs. Since my cron job doesn't create any output, seeing this tab be empty is not a bad sign. If while setting up your cron job you had something misconfigured, this will be the place you check for what error could have been made. And that's all it takes to set up a cron job. Now, let me know if this tutorial helped you by clicking the like button. And of course, subscribe for more amazing tutorials in the future. Let me know what types of cron jobs you had set up in the comments down below. And of course, if you ran into any issues, shoot us an email or get in touch with us via live chat. We will definitely help you out. That's it for me for today, so see you next time!